Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is... <sighs> My name is Tom Novak, and today we're going to do some wild and crazy things. Today is August 10th of 2022. It's Wednesday. It's 83 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius, and it's about 6.40 in the, af in, in the evening, 6.40 p.m. I got some Faisal finds. Joseph. Yep, Joseph, I'm not throwing it out. The Clone X... He says, Tom, why are you throwing a clone X out? You only dip one cutting in there, so there's very minimal contamination. You're right, Joseph. But I do but I do always take a little bit out and use it for other cuttings, and I take my brush and use it all up on the cuttings. And then I wash my pots in uh Dawn dish soap. Let's see if I can find it. I had it here. I wanted to show it to you, and here it is. I don't know. They uh, they use this for washing all the ducks that were, and the animals that were caught in that oil spill, and it worked real good. So I use this in cleaning all my pots, and it works off real good. And it's not the, uh, it's just a regular dishwashing soap. So it works out good for cleaning my pots. That's what I use. Now, uh, Thanks, Joseph, for reminding me. Don't throw that out, Tom. Too much money. Yep. At $25 a jar. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Joseph, you're a good man. Thank you. Now, drilling. People are asking me about drilling. Oh, and for uh, one more thing. If you're going to sterilize anything, this is just hydrogen peroxide. So, and I don't throw it out. I use it until it gets dirty. But all I do is I stick my scissors in there. And if they bubble, they're dirty. So then I, I wipe them off and dip it in again. And if it comes out without bubbling, because hydrogen peroxide bubbles, they're good. I mean, once they're, they're uh, no more bubbles. But it's good stuff to use. That's all I use. I don't use Clorox. I only do that for clay pots when they got a lot of of calcium buildup on that and that so now you can make your own feather rocks uh feather rock pots i'm going to do this for i got another uh venus fly trap a small one i drill this one but i'm you can use pumice stone too but if you use feather rock it's essential i mean essential that you wear safety glasses or you cover this rock with that much water and use a little drill and then a bigger and a bigger drill to get your hole going and then I just leave a little bit on the bottom there so the water goes in. And I got my sphagnum moss in there. I don't think you can see it, but there it is on the bottom. And the reason why I say it's essential because those shards, when you drill dry, this is the shards. They fly into your face, into your eyes, and everything. So don't, uh, where's my rag? You've got to wear safety glasses or put it under water because I couldn't find my safety glasses so I had to put it under water and that turned out just just fine but you got to do that because otherwise you don't want to go blind now for the other part of drilling I drill this hole but I use a three-quarter Forster bit I don't know if you can see it it's all scratched up but this is the bit I use and how do you, how do you, here's the hole. Now, how do you prevent uh, pullouts? Well, because it's not totally flat, I use a 4x4. Four four. Put it down. I use a 4x4. Four four. You can see all the drill holes, and I put the, the screws. And then these are from old dog. Uh, bags that you use that you rip and pick up the poop with so I just cover the screws with this or you can use a uh, rubber but all I do is I put the pot in the corner like that and then because it's got legs there I'm going to put this under there to help with the with the pullouts you know with when, when it drills so the pot has a natural uh, starting point in it it's got a hole in the rubber and then all you do is start Comes right out. Drills real good. That's your Forster bit. And 
And let me dump this. Look at the hole. Now, what do you do with the, the burrs on the back? I have an ancient tool, an ancient tool that's been around for ages, but it's hard to find. So you got to go to the deepest, darkest places that are in the woods to find it. And here it is. A rock. <laughs> All you do on the pullouts, see there's hardly any there, but there's just a little bit of burr. You take your rock and you just go back and forth like that. And just go with the rock. There you go. Good. Nice little countersink in it. You can work it more if you want, but it's good. There's no lip, nothing. You got a perfect hole. Forster bit. Now, let me show you. Let me get the drill out of the way. Because I am all discombobulated here. Now, here are the pots. see if we can get it. These were all 20% off. All 20% off. 20% off. This was $7. 20% off of $7. 20% off of $13. But they're not bad. This is a $5 pot that was 20% off. I got it from Faisal's. They still got a sale on all their pots. There we go. Great place to shop. Great place to shop. Great little nursery. Anything you need, go there. They got a lot of good stuff. Now, for the children's corner, let me back up here. I got a frog pot, but it has no hole. So the Forster bit, I'm going to take, it's got a teeny little hole in the bottom, but I'm just going to use a Forster bit because this is an easy drill. And you can see the price on it. Well, this one was 20 so I got it for half off because if you buy uh, two statue pots like this, if you buy one, it's 25% off. But if you buy two, it's 20%, I mean 50% off. So this for, for 20 bucks, I got for 10 So it's going to be nice. And I know Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai is going to like this pot because this is also going to go on the children's corner. It's a Blue Jay. <laughs> Look at that, Jay. Nice little pot. And this got a little... Uh, uh, rubber washer and uh, rubber spigot in there. See, this was $12, so I got it for uh, $6. So all I got to do is drill that hole a little better, and we'll have a nice little pot for the children's corner. But I mean, it's pretty good. They got a lot of statues. All the statues are 25% off for one or 50% off for two or more. And the pots are gorgeous. Look at them. I mean, I got a green one. I mean, a lot of the pots were sold, but. What are you gonna do? Look at the nice, nice pots. And this is unusual. I'm gonna think of putting maybe a T in this one. <laughs> it's a it's a little pot. Uh, the rubber came off, but that's that's for the hole. The hole is drilled. I don't know if you can see it. There, the hole is drilled in there already. That's just the tag on the bottom, and you can see the price. So 20% off on that. Okay, Tom. So that's what you use, a 4x4. Four four. If you can find Featherstone, that's going to be an easy drill. We're going to put the uh, Venus flytrap in that for the children's corner so they can see that. But that that's what I use for drilling. You can use rock to get the screw and put rubber. You put the, the rubber up to the head of the screw and a little bit over and then just screw it in. But I mean, it works. You can see all the drill marks I've been using. <clears throat> but that's the best. And you can hold it with your feet on a heavy pot. So, there's Mr. Elephant. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Mia. Now, uh, this is my uh, other pot. I just washed it with the, with the Dawn. And look, you can see how nice it is. And here's our Moujon. We're going to put it in. We're going to use Ted's Cactus Mix. Oh, yeah, and at Faisal's, I bought another bag of their Sun Grow Cactus Mix. The black gold one. That, 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 that thing is great draining soil mix. That's one of the best and same thing with Ted's. So if you can't get out to Ted's, go to, for soil mix, go to Faisal's because Faisal's is closer to me and you get a lot there. And Ted's has got good stuff too. I mean, they're both great nurseries. Great. Now we're going to do, I got a clear bucket so maybe you can see 
a little bit better. The root raking underwater. So hopefully you can see through it. Okay, so let's get cutting down. I don't want to bore you guys. I got to take my other dog to the vet tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to have an operation on his leg, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do videos and watch him or what's going on with him. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Okay, so, yeah, Ted used, uh, on his Mujan, he used the same soil, the same cactus mix. So what I'm going to do now, let me get my chopstick, and all you do is put it in the water, like that, and under water root raking, I mean, the root ball, simply, you can get it off the roots super easy. And especially those of you that are afraid to rake the roots, I mean, the best root raker I've seen is Nigel Saunders, man, from the Bonsai Zone, that man, he is a surgeon and a half. That's Dr. Saunders, I call him. He's the root man of the roots. But that's what I do. I do it underwater. And it helps if it's got one of them uh, plugs that they use for for rooting the, the, the plant. It helps to get that off. But you can see that a lot of it, there, how, how the soil comes off real, real easy. And there you go, you got a nice little flat root, uh, flare out there. And, we're not, and then what do I do with all this old soil water? Well, when the city was putting in pipe and stuff, you know, everything levels out and it starts to sink. Well, I keep pouring that on there to help fill it up and the grass grows through and I pour a little more. And the grass grows through and I pour a little more. But what are you going to do? That's all you can do. So let's put this guy in there. Let's get the soil out of here. Now, now, put that there, let you see what I'm doing. Get this out, and the screen, this mesh, if you can't get window screen, you can always go to uh, Hobby Lobby, and it, remember, it's the canvas mesh. 79 cents for a big 12-inch uh, uh, by 12-inch uh, Skeeter. Got a mosquito. I was wondering what's trying to bite me down here. But it's... Uh, for 79 cents, you get a nice piece of canvas mesh. Canvas mesh. Ah, can't talk today, Tom. So, take our soil mix, and that's Ted's cactus soil mix. You can see how nice it is with the little uh, lava rock in there. And we'll just straighten our screen out. That yeah, fingers ain't working today. Just move the screen towards the middle more. There we go. Put our soil in. And we'll get our Nikos. Put it in. And let's see. Our roots are nice and radial. We can just untangle a couple of them. Just like that. We got a nice little radial root paste that'll fit in there nice. And this is a young plant, so I don't want to take too much off. And it's late in the season. But we still got time for stuff to grow. And when I was in landscaping school, the best time to plant is spring and fall. Well, spring, the roots get a chance if you get it in early enough, and then everything starts budding out. But in the fall, when everything's going dormant, the roots are still growing, so the roots have a more chance of a recovery period than uh, if you do it late in the spring or like during the summer. But landscapers do it, so dip. If you haven't sterilized them before when you're done doing the stuff, see, no bubbles. Sterile. And you don't have to worry about wiping it off because your cut will be sterile cut it just like that because we want this to fluff out so this can be another cutting and i didn't do my sand but it's all right 
I'll put it on the side so I don't forget. You know what? I'll put it in the water. And then I can put it in the so into my sand mixture in my styrofoam cup. Now, I'll just stick it like that. And you know, we can put a little bit more on the roots because the roots are wet. And remember, this attaches to the roots. And it's not fertilizer, so you're not going to burn nothing. There you go. We'll close up our peroxide. Now, my scoop, there it is. Losing the top. There we go, just like that. So if you're out in Chicago way, go to Faisal's. Get them bonsai pots. I got all kinds of other pots. You can get all the pots are 20% off. Now those the uh, statue pots, those are 25% off for one or 50% or off for two or more. And even if you buy one pot and a, and a statue, it's still 50% off. So if you're out towards Faisal Way, go out there. A great place to shop, great people. If you need advice, they're right there to help you. There we go. We got that in there. And I got four more of these to, to repot. I don't want to bore you potting all four. That's just the basic way to do it, and I, well, when you cut, you cut. Try to try to cut. Let your your uh, like if this is a branches, I go down until my my shears hit the the branch, and then I cut, and then that way there it doesn't look like you cut anything. So now, spray bottle. Now, I didn't buy no statues today because. I wanted to get some of their pots. They got some real nice pots. Now these roots will develop and this will grow into a nice little plant. I'm gonna put it in the, the shade with all everything else. And just push it in, push it in. Because when you sprinkle it usually settles. And you water it in. I know like on the when you use all the bonsai soil mixes they're they're not gonna settle because they're a little thicker, but you know you can't afford it. If you're doing a lot of plants, that, that stuff gets expensive. Okay, we'll get Mr. Elephant. Okay, time you're a little off center. Ah, what are you gonna do? We can always fix it up by doing something else. Let's get a rag. Da, 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 da. I'll get some of this because we can pretend we got a little grass here. Just like that. Just a little something. This way here Roy can have a nice little plant for a shop. And people can enjoy it and watch it grow. And later on, when the plant gets big enough, they can start harvesting their own tea. There we go. A little bit of water there. Just like that. And what can we put in there? that I haven't put before. There we go. And we can put a little horse there. A little statue. My sister found it at, I guess, the yard sales or the garage sales. But there you go. The Moujon T. There it is, that's from Ted's. And that's how it grows and everything. And there it is. And it says, exotic vanilla aroma, 
two foot tall, small fine round green leaves, and tiny orange fruits. Leaves are prim used primarily for brewing herbal tea. And it's got to be kept in well-drained soil and full sun. So I got to let this in the shade for a while and then put it in full sun later. Just till it recovers. That's why I do it at night. So I can... There we go. Got a little horse reading the sign. And there you have it. Our little tea tree. Don't be afraid to try it. And don't be afraid of drooling. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. And then I know I forgot who said they wanted to see me drill into some uh, ceramics. I'll, I'll try to do something like that later on as soon as I get everything fixed. Because you can see a mess. A mess. <laughs> Man, I got a mess. Look at this. I got a real cleanup job to do. <laughs> Even got my calendars all messed up with stuff. So uh, what are you going to do? A lot of work to do. Been up at 4.30 every day. I like the old saying is, no rest for the wicked. I guess I'm wicked. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but I thank you guys, everyone for all their comments. I thank everyone for their suggestions and corrections and helping me. Because sometimes I make a mistake because just like in the 1950s, when, they, when TV first came out, it was live. There were no cuts. There was no editing. Nothing like that. And that's just me. No cuts, no editing, nothing. What you see, that's what I did. And what I goof up, that's what I did. But, I mean, you can use anything to wash your pots, but I like Dawn. And, uh, I don't know, it cleans the pots real good. I figured if it's good for the ducks and all the wildlife to save them from all that oil, it's good for the pots. So you take care, everybody. And, oh, yeah, the, the fish... The chlorinator and, and the, that removes chlorine and chloramide. Well, for the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The carnivorous plants. It's, it's distilled water or rainwater. Well, I put that in a gallon jug. The drops, and then I let it sit for a day. I water them. If the water if it didn't work like it said it did, then plants would have been dead. But they're growing like crazy. I'll have to show you them later. But I'll show you the uh, the little one that I bought. And we're going to try to put it in this little pot. So don't forget to get that ancient stone to help you remove the burrs on the end. So that's my little tricks the way I drill. So you take care, everybody. Have a good day. I'm wrapping up the tube here. So take care and enjoy a good evening with a cup of tea and catch up on the old videos. That's what I'm going to do today. Take care.